the uh, purpose of this uh, demonstration is to quickly run through uh, a very simple technique to, to design car parks. For this project, the architect has provided a, a layout for the car park, so I'll just uh, quickly turn that on. There are a number of uh, techniques that can be used to, to model a car park or, or any uh, earthworks design in 12D, but I find sometimes the easiest way is to create a, a dummy surface and drape uh, the curb line on a dummy tin. So I'll quickly uh, show you the existing surface, just so you get an idea of, of the site grade. And as you can see, we've got some existing buildings and existing road or car park, and basically we're we're grading to the north to the northeast, and the site is sloping away. To show you the site grading, I could either show you the flow arrows and we could see it sloping to the north to the northeast or I could uh, take a temporary section from say this building here down to the down to here and you could see that the site is sloping away and the site is also sloping to the southwest as you can see And this site has uh, some existing stormwater drainage drainages going to the north, to the north, and also there's one coming from the the site to the south into these channels. So basically, I'm gonna sort of direct my flow to in both those directions, and I'm sort of gonna put a ridge in the middle of this car park. So basically, I'm gonna draw a square, uh, a rectangle um, that sort of covers the bottom of these curbs and basically I'm going to set levels and I'm going to drape the, that, 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 those strings on a, on a surface. So I'm going to use one of my favorite tools in 12D which is this intersection, cat intersection. I'm just going to draw uh, IPs basically um, around the rectangle that I want and it's going to be around this part here. And I'm basically going to draw my rectangle on these IPs. I'm then going to convert that rectangle to an old school alignment. Because I like modeling that way. And I'm going to set the vertical. Uh, I'm going to clear it first. And I'm going to set the vertical for this, this square. I mean, some some 12D users might question my use of the old school alignment, but I mean, it's it's still it still uh, achieves the same thing as a super alignment. It just sort of just removes some of the added um, functionality of a super alignment. And sometimes for these little little modeling jobs, um, I just find it's quicker to to sort of use the old school alignment. So I mean, the trick is for when you're doing your vertical geometry is to sort of get the levels that you do know. So I'll. Uh, I, I know that there's a curb line in here, a curb gutter, so I'll pick 32, 8, 10, and I'll set the height of this in plan view, and then that's, that's the level there, and then um, from that point there, I want to go sort of 2% down to this corner here, so I'll, I'll add that in, 1, 2, 10. And the string ends at the end of this tin, so I sort of know that's the that's the level there. 32 of 313 of the very first IP. So I'll quickly draw that in. 32, 32, 313. I then know that this building here is... Uh, 33.2 so I'll set that in plan 33.2 and I know that this distance 
25.066 and I want it to go at 2%, so I'll add that grade in. Grade 2 minus 25.066. And that is my one rectangle. So I've then, uh, I've basically replicated that three more times to sort of capture the entire car park. And I'll just show you that now. Basically what you can see there, you see by, is that, that rectangle that I just demonstrated to you. There's another one here. And then there's a third one over here. And if you basically were to section, section it, I basically picked the point, picked that point for that vertical, and basically picked the same, same line for that vertical. And basically, what I've done then is I've, I've triangulated the surface. So I'll just show you that. So basically, you can see, I'll put my. That's a basically a triangulation of of a temporary dummy surface that sort of covers the whole car park. So now I wanna run a template uh, which shows the cur a curve along this uh, these alignments, like the islands and the roundabout. Uh, there's a couple in there. So I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate you demonstrate one. So I'm just gonna convert uh, this CAD line, this polyline into a, an alignment. I'm just gonna put it under Temp car park. Oh, let's put it under this one here. Temp. Hit alignment. And now that has now, that's now an alignment. So it hasn't got the right vertical geometry, but that's uh, what, what I'll demo. To get the right uh, vertical geometry, we just have to go tin, drape, drape alignment. And I'm going to pick the dummy surface that I created, which was design temp car park. I'm going to hit incre change increment. This sort of puts a VIP at basically every meter along that alignment. I'm then going to hit drape. And that's now my vertical set for that curb. So now I'm going to uh, run a template, so I'll just uh, quickly do that for you, temp car park, and create, I'm just going to run a curb line, curb only, and ref. I'm going to pick my alignment. I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Hit apply. And that's the start. That's the start of. Temp, 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 temp. That's now my curb line for the, for that curb. So I'm just going to do the same thing for these other curbs. So I'm going to convert this one to an alignment. Uh, copy to design temp. And this one here. one here and the roundabout in the middle so I'll just quickly show you how quick this is if I now drape all of those alignments on that dummy surface and to show you the vertical now I've got all the vertical, except for this part because I've got no surface for it, and also the the island is actually is supposed to be along this natural surface here. So I'm just going to quickly 
do this one manually, I think. Um, so I'll just quickly do vertical. And I'll show you why, because if you see the survey, this area here is old, an old pavement, and then this area here is sort of a new surface. So we sort of need a tie in between the two surfaces. So I'll just quickly do that. Same for this one here. Fence. Yeah, that's close enough for now. So I've just applied a template along all the alignments individually, so individual MTFs, and just to speed up the process, I've removed it. But that that's showing you all the curves at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm just showing you um, the curves only, but this has actually got a, a verge along the edge, and um, I'll just show you that it's working correctly. I'll just put the, um, the template uh, back on. Uh, which one was it? That one. And what I, what I did was, for the areas where I wanted it to to, to uh, interface with the natural surface, I um, I added a shoulder, and that shoulder had a, a, a batter that interfaced. And I'll just show you that and it's working. So we'll see that it's now interfacing down. I mean, there's there's some little mini little bits that I have to do in manually, and I've done that as well. So I'll just quickly put that on. So I just created some alignments for the for the bits that that uh, that I missed the tie-in part tie-in parts, and you can see when I turn it on that we've now got a vertical alignment, and I, and finally I just need to interface down for these bits that that I don't have, which would be you sort of. And that one's done. Next one. And this one up here. one here and last but not least we need the asphalt blend lines in so I copied this one and I copied this one and I'll just show you show you that so So the end result, I'll just put it on this plan. Uh, there are all my strings for the car park. I'm then going to create a triangulation. Uh, car park temp. I'm then going to pick these models. So I'm just going to pick the view. I want to null. Change the color. Say brown. And park temp oh, right there. and I've just got to know the bits that I don't want um, so we'll just quickly do that but I actually missed um, one of the strings so I'm just going to add that to the to the triangulation and then gonna null uh, by 
strings. Turn the triangles on. Triangles. Uh, I mean, I'll add a building line later. I'm just going to send that to the back so I can see it. I'm going to get rid of these ones. These ones. This one here. Put on the tin perspective view. Uh, tin, 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 tin. And that's pretty much my car park now. Um, if I wanted to get the volumes quick, I mean it's a uh, doesn't include the pavement, but. Um, it will give me a quick volume for that car park, existing surface. Uh, let's go. Let's turn on the cup fill. All right. Give it a report name. Falls. I'll paint it on seven. And you can sort of see the cut fill. Uh, green is obviously fill, red's obviously cut, and um, and that's my car park.